Lithium batteries explode and the government news and media know all about it, yet the silence is deafening. But why? Follow the money. Follow the fear. Bloomberg is one of the only major news outlets who dared to report on this. They did so in late December of 2014, citing a little-known government report concluding that lithium batteries destroy one U.S.-registered cargo jet every two years. What makes matters worse is that with the proliferation of laptops, mobile phones, and tablets, it's only going to get worse very soon, since lithium batteries are not even treated as hazardous. E-cigarettes use lithium batteries, for instance, and they have been known to explode, and yet they're allowed as carry-on items and luggage in main cabins of airliners. Logan Airport in Boston has reported two separate incidences of e-cigarettes catching fire, and in January of 2015, a suitcase containing an e-cigarette burst into flames. Apparently, this is much more likely when heating elements of e-cigarettes are left on. But the FAA doesn't ban e-cigarettes per se in carry-on bags for one reason. <laughs> Get this, are you sitting down? Because they say they can notice the fire in the main cabin more quickly than if it were to start in the belly of the plane with the other baggage. <laughs> in a strange sort of way, it actually makes sense. Commenting on the clear and present danger of lithium batteries, Jerry Back, a senior fire protection engineer with Hughes Associates in Maryland, said, quote, It's like a fireworks display. They explode. They shoot fireballs. They emit smoke. And sometimes they spray flaming liquid, unquote. This brings to question the Chevy Volt, which caught fire during a test crash in May of 2014. Could it be lithium batteries there? But lithium batteries burn in another dangerous and deadly way that is virtually never reported. Tiny lithium batteries, known as button batteries, are used in hearing aids and in small children's toys. When small children swallow these shiny little nuggets, they may not get sick for days. And when they eventually do, it's often misdiagnosed. And eventually, when the lodged battery burns through the child's throat, they have to get emergency tracheotomies, and in some cases, even die. But lobbyists for battery manufacturers and companies that use lithium batteries say it's not worth the $1.1 billion a year expense if these batteries were to become regulated. Never mind the fact that three crew members barely escaped with their lives after a UPS Boeing DC-8 was destroyed by fire in Philadelphia from carrying numerous lithium batteries in that UPS vehicle. And pretend you never heard the fact that lithium batteries burn so hot that if one catches fire, it could ignite all the others in the same shipping container iPhones are already too expensive. We don't need any more stinking regulations on their batteries that they might jack up the price some more. So we're faced with that delicate balance of safety versus regulation. Ah, what a complex, newfangled world we live in today.